Hello students, this is standard 6 literature. In this class, in this video, we are going to write summer sums, all the exercises and question answers. So, let us take out first page number 21, sorry 28 and see list the two examples of the personification from the poem. So, again turn the page 26 all of you and for second stanza to slip his golden fingers through underline to slip his finger golden through in the third stanza you can underline he bears to all the gardener ground he bears to all the gardeners ground even in the last stanza that you can underline to please the ch child to paint the rose the to please the child to paint the rose so these are the personifications from the poem okay so now some uh, poems given so identify the personification in this sentence given below okay teapot short and stout underline teapot short and stout okay first one second one you write down rain rain go away come again another day Rain, rain, go away, come again, another day. Okay. Then the third number is, the third number is, two deep grass moved must whisper and the board and brushed my feet. Underline that much. Okay. So underline that much. So come to now, read, come to page number. So okay. So let us do page number. 29, uh, 29 put your imagination and complete the following okay so the first one the moon arrives at night the moon arrives at night b number the trees waited for the rains to come the trees waited for the rains to come c the angry fire swallowed s w a double l o w e d swallowed everything in the in its path i t s in its Path. The clock looks as if it were standing still. The clock looks as if it were standing still. E number beauty lives L I V E S in the eyes of the beholder. Beauty lives in the eyes of the beholder. B E H O L D E R beholder. F number the wise owl thought about the problem for a while. The wise owl thought about the problem for a while. Okay, so let us do just some sense. Making connection. Okay, so first question. What do you think the poet means by empty heaven? Okay, so answer is the poet means a cloudless sky by the expression empty heaven. The poet means a cloudless sky, C-L-O-U-D-L-E-S-S, cloudless sky by the Expression E X P R E S S I O N expression empty heaven H E A V E N. Okay. Second number. The rays are described as more thick. The rays are described as more thick than rain because they are strong and capable of getting through most things. Because they are strong and capable of getting through most things okay third number is the sun saw his rays s h o w e r e d showered shot his rays r a y s in the blue and glowing days in the blue and glowing days because g l o w i n g glowing days because on such days comma the sky was free of clouds because on such days comma the sky was free of cloud clouds okay now come to b first answer is the sun will find a chink full stop the sun will find a chink the chink is to be found between the blinds or curtains the chink is to be found between the Blinds, B L I N D S, blinds or curtains, C U R T I N S, curtains that have been pulled down, that have been pulled down to keep the sun out of the room, to keep the sun out of the room in the house, rooms, R O O M S, rooms in the house. Okay. 
Now third number, sorry, second number. The poet refers to the sun's rays, sun apostrophe is sun's rays through the expression golden fingers. The poet refers to the sun's rays through the expression golden fingers. Okay. Third number. The sun was being kept out so that the rooms could be kept cool. The sun was being kept out so that the rooms could be kept cool. Okay, now see bit question number one. The answer is the sun made the dusty spider clad attic glad. The sun made the dusty spider dusty comma s p i d e spider then give a hyphen clad c l a d clad attic. A double T I C attic glad G L A D glad full stop. He did this. He did this D I D did this by pouring P O U R I N G pouring his rays through the keyhole by pouring his rays through the keyhole full stop. Second number the sun entered the hay loft H A Y hay loft through the broken edge of the tiles. Okay, that is second number. Third number is these lines tell us that the sun is these lines tell us that the sun is hard to keep out from our dwellings d w e l l i n g s from our dwellings as its rays come in through blinds curtains and even locked doors and even locked doors okay full stop now let us do question number 2 why do you think the poet chose a summer as a setting of the poem? So the answer is the poet chosen C H O S E N. The poet has chosen the poet has chosen summer as a setting for the poem because it is the season when the clouds are away and the sun in its strongest. S T R O N G E S T. Full stop. Flowers and trees are in full, full bloom. Flowers and trees are in full bloom during summer. After summer, put a comma, semicolon. Okay. Which is why the poet calls the sun the gardener of the world. Which is why the poet calls the summer the gardener of the world. Full stop. In winter, comma, people do not pull the curtains. In winter, comma, people do not pull the curtains, C U R T I N S, to keep out the sun. To keep out the sun. Now, let us do number three. Do you agree with the poet when he refers to the sun as the gardener of the world? Justify your answer. Yes, comma, I agree with the poet when he refers to the sun as the gardener of the world. Full stop. The sun is the source of all energy on earth. The sun is the source of all energy on earth. It is the person, sorry, it is the presence, P R E S E N C, presence of the sun that makes trees and plants bloom on the earth. E capital, on the earth. Full stop. In the winter, and autumn, A U T U M N, autumn season, S E A S O N S seasons, comma, when the sun's rays, S U N apostrophe A, sun's rays are not as strong, comma, plants die or shed their leaves. Plants die or shed, S H E D, shed their, T H E I R, their leaves, L E A V E S. That's it. Thank you.